The Von Flew choke is a really important choke to know, both for self-defense and for competition, because a lot of times, particularly newer people, if they grab your head, they know they've got something and they're not gonna let it go. With the Von Flew choke, we, pay, we make them pay for grabbing our head by uh, compressing one carotid artery with our own shoulder and the other carotid artery with their shoulders. The two most common times you're gonna hit this is when somebody has a guillotine and they don't let go after you pass their guard, or they get you in a standing guillotine and we have a takedown that we can do to set up the Von Flew choke as well. We're gonna show you both of those. So if Jesse puts his head here and feet here, let's say me and Jesse are grappling and he gets me in the guillotine choke. This is bad for me. Right, and what he wants to do, ideally, is close his guard around me, please don't do this, oh. And uh, but he wants to lock his guard so I can't move, right? And then he can extend his hips to extend the power of the choke. What I wanna do is maintain my posture and pass away from the choke. So let's say I do this, right? Now Jesse can't use the power of his legs to finish anymore. What I wanna do now is I wanna make sure he doesn't let go of my head. And a lot of times guys will just keep squeezing for you. But just to make sure, I'm gonna grab the wrist, and now I'm gonna pinch my chin to my shoulder. And now if Jesse tries to let go, it's really hard for him. His arm's stuck. This hand is going to come under his head, and we're going to connect. I'm going to connect my hands palm to palm if I can. If I can't, I'm just going to put my middle finger in his armpit. And now, I'll show this from another angle so you can see, now my knees come off the mat and I just do a plank. To finish, and Jesse will tell you it's getting tight right away, I'm just going to turn my shoulder down into his carotid artery, turning my hip and my shoulder down. This shoulder is going into the carotid on this side, and his own shoulder, because of the way that his, the angle that his arm is at, is gonna compress his carotid on the other side. Let's show that from the other side so you can see what my other legs do it. So Jesse's gonna get to me with that left hand. Yeah, please. Jesse's gonna get to me with that left hand. Now this time you can do it. If Jesse sits back and locks his legs, now I can't escape, right? Now I'm in his world and that's, that's trouble. So instead, if I pass, if you're in this position, in Jesse's position, unless you're Cody Malte, you want to let go of this head. If you're Cody, you've got some other tricks. I'm going to secure the hand either with this wrist or my chin and my shoulder. Connect. Now watch, my knees are never going to be on the mat again. Now all I'm going to do, I'm not even going to squeeze, I'm just going to rotate my hip and shoulder down. And that takes away the space in between um, my shoulder and his neck thereby making him tap. It's a really clean blood choke. Another really common situation where the Von Flew choke happens is where your partner gets a standing guillotine on you. If Jesse does this to me, it's a really dangerous situation for me, and as he tries to connect and he puts his hip to it, you can hear my voice. This is how uh, Leota Machida got put to sleep by John Jones. So what I need to do is first I need to defend my neck, pulling on the wrist, and my other arm goes over his shoulder. So now if Jesse tries to finish it as hard as he can, it's not my own way finishing me anymore, and you can see the difference here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a takedown that puts us in position for the Von Flew choke. I'm gonna walk toward my overhook and my knee is gonna tap behind his knee. As that happens, I'm gonna walk to side control. And you can see I've never let go of his arm. Once I tuck my chin to my, to my uh, shoulder though, it's gonna be really hard for him to get his arm out. Same thing happens, I'm gonna connect my hands if I can. If I can't, I'm just gonna connect to his lap, pop up and rotate my shoulder down and my partner taps. Uh, let's see, we got one more time from this angle. So uh, you're back to the camera. So just against the guillotine, the first thing you gotta do is defend your neck. Also, this is why the, the what we call the uh, high elbow guillotine is so powerful, because if I get here, it's really hard for him to finish. But if he gets his elbow over my shoulder now, I'm in a lot of trouble. So we gotta do this first. Now, remember we're always walking to the other side of the guillotine, so I don't wanna walk this way, I'll choke myself, I'm gonna walk this way. Tap the knee, down to the mat. If I can, connect my hands, I will. Knees come off the mat. All I'm gonna do is rotate my hip and shoulder. Finishing the Von Flew choke. Those are the most two, the two most common Von Flew choke setups. It's just basically an arm triangle, where our, our shoulder chokes him and the other shoulder chokes him. If your buddy won't let go of your head, you gotta make him pay, and this is a great way to do it.